James Bond didn't even have a car that's elegant. Hello, I'm Blake from Vintage Blake. This is my YouTube channel of our lifestyle, the classic car dealership lifestyle, kind of what we do here. And today we are taking delivery of a very rare. Wow. It's a Zagato bodied car. Probably one of the rarest modern Aston Martins in the world. Definitely the rarest modern Aston Martin in North America. Let's go take a look. We got a truck out here. Let's get it off the truck. By the way, it's taken two weeks for us to get this thing. So <laughs> the anticipation is real here. It's a beautiful Mazni trailer. Let's see if they have any other cool cars on there. Oh, I can see a little glimpse of it. I can see a glimpse. No, nope, they have no other cool cars, just a Corvette. By the way, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Mazni Enclosed Transport. We use Keith there in the office. I believe they're based out of Orlando. They're fantastic. They have never wrecked any of our cars, unlike most of the carriers, um, unreliable perhaps. A few other ones that I won't mention. Mazni is good. You should go to them for your enclosed transport needs. Okay, we got one coming out. What is that? S550? I like those wheels. Oh! This Aston is stunning. Yeah, there's like a Porsche with hounds two seats up that way. You can kind of see it. It's like a late 60s, early 70s, 911. Probably like a 70, 72. Oh, he's tight in there. This car is so fat. He's like this close to the wall. You know, when you can't decide if you wanted a 19 or a 20, you get a 19 and a half. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I guess maybe I just wasn't ever paying attention. Let's go see how big these wheels are over here. Oh, 22s. So evidently they rounded that number off, but those ones, not so much. I wonder if that helps with weight distribution. It probably helps to make it lower so the cars can come out better. If you know why they're 19 and a half so on the back of an 18 wheeler trailer, please leave a comment down below so I don't have to Google it. This is great. Taking a delivery of a Zagato bodied Aston Martin. How many people can say that? Not many. Only 10 in the United States. Have I mentioned that? This is 10 out of the 99 or 101. It's the Google doesn't tell me. So Aston Martin doesn't say how many they made on their corporate website. So I believe it's either 99 or 101, which the camera has fallen. So there are 10 of these in the United States. I read six, there's actually 10 in the United States, which is still extremely rare. I also read that there are 99 total that were delivered to Europe, UK, and Asia, being one of the few that were actually imported into America. There are 99 or 101 made, but the Aston Martin corporate website does not tell you either one of these numbers is accurate. So let's go, they made 99 to 101 of them, but 99 sounds better, so we'll go with that. <laughs> I swear to God. These are durable. Every time, <laughs> every time I buy something expensive, you drop it. So let me give you no, no relics here. You'll drop it on the ground. They made one of these. It's lasted 300 years. <laughs> Chattered. Hello. That's a 440 bhp V12 motor. The anticipation's killing me. We need this fucking car. Oh, cold start. Cold start. Nice. V12. It looks nice underneath. Shiny pipes. All right, go on back, babe. Oh, there she is. I love it. Oh my God. It's like Christmas in August today. I'm not even sweating yet. That's how good it is today. Oh yeah, look how clean the wheels are. Tasty. Oh. You're running? <laughs> yeah, if you want, yeah. Nice car. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Look at all this wood. Look at the look at the roof. Look at these. Look at diamond stitch. The Zagato. Such a nice car. If you didn't notice, we actually bought this car sight unseen, which we bought it from a reputable source. So I'm okay with that. But it's always nice to know when you see it in person that it's still that clean. You can see the Zagato plaque. It says DV7 Zagato car number 48 of 99. Can you take some pictures while the light's good right here? Look at this. Good. There you go. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. It looks beautiful. 
we're definitely going to take this thing for a drive, which you'll see. I'm really excited about it. This color combination, I was a little nervous because this color shows more like silver on the camera in all the pictures that we saw. It's more of this gray color, which really looks nice. Aston Martin always knocks it out with their color choices. This car is based off of the DB7 platform, which was one of the most successful Aston Martins ever produced. It's actually one of the first mass-produced Aston Martins. In 2001, in Pebble Beach, which is this Pebble Beach week, Monterey Car Week, Andrea Stella got together with Aston Martin, and Henrik Fisker, at the time, has given us the modern V8 Vantage, and so on like that, helped to design the DB9. This car is one of Aston Martin's and Zagato's long-time history. I believe they go back to like the late 50s, early 60s, Obviously with the 1960 Aston Martin DB4 Zagato GT, which is probably one of the most expensive Aston Martins ever. This car is kind of based off of that DB4 Zagato GT. You can see the huge mouth on it, the massive fog lights. It has the standard DB7 headlights. This mouth is something else. Like what car has a huge grill like this? This looks freaking awesome. The whole car is aluminum. Of course we have the wonderful Zagato Z, which is what makes this car worth so much money. This car is not cheap let's just say that i'm not going to mention it you could probably do some research of your own to figure out how much it is but very cool car very clean in here i love it they made the zagato dbar1 which stands for american roadster those cars did not have a top this one has a nice hard top so that means it doesn't when it rains it doesn't get in the cockpit but this car is a great sweeping line down the side the window the rear window who makes this in a car today Nobody. Hey, look at this. Who cuts this out? I love it. They call this the round tail tail light here. And I love these rivets or rivet-esque look here with the Allen bolt heads, the round side. Look at this. This is always something manufacturers fail on. Who, look at this. It's at an angle. Look at that Aston Martin cap. This thing is freaking awesome. Stunning in here for people who are investors, which by the way, if you're just an investor in a car, maybe you shouldn't buy cars. Let's just put that out. I'm just gonna say this, not limiting people, but you buy cars because you feel emotion, you feel rarity, you feel this sort of passion to want to buy things that are rare. You could have easily bought a DB7, saved hundreds of thousands of dollars. Instead, you waited around, you tried to find one, you hunted them down, you finally got a very rare car, because this is something, you're gonna go to your cars and coffee and there's not gonna be another one at all, period. This is probably going to be Concor eligible in the next 10, 15 years. They're already starting to show Zagato bodied cars that are in the modern era already at Amelia Island and Pebble Beach. Why should we care about this car? Well, I'm gonna tell you why you should care about this car. One, it's an Aston Martin, legendary brand, legendary look. Two, you should care about it because it's aluminum. And three, this is a collaboration just like classic Aston Martin with Zagato, who makes great cars, Andrea Zagato, his family, Italian designers that got together with the English and made absolutely incredible pieces that are so rare today, some people will never see and some people will never be able to own because they're just so hard to buy. And those are a few of the reasons to buy it, but let's move on to a driving portion of it because that's the cool part anyway. Oh, we got an e-brake on. Off. Oh. This engine start thing is cool. We got, is that heated seats? In 2003, this thing is banging for heated seats. Oh, I can already feel it. 440 BHP. Backed by this beautiful Manuel transmission. Oh, horn sounds very American. I was a little disappointed there. We already got a little bit of heat in this mighty V12 engine already because we let it idle when it got off the truck just because I'm uh, too impatient to want to get into it early. When you look out the back window, look at the, how the window is shaped. I literally can see nothing, but damn, it looks good. The clutch bites weird. Got to get used to that. Oh. Yep, that's a V12. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is good. I'm a fan. We've barely made it 100 yards and I already, I, I need it. It feels quite planted. Let's see if the air conditioning works. Or should I say the air con? Maybe? I turned it on. Oh, oh. boom! 
Can you turn that that way? Okay, now we got air hitting us in the face, I hope. Taking it right over here, going by the airport. Oh, the air conditioning works. <laughs> Even better. Oh, it works over here too. Cold AC. Wonderful Saturday morning. We got planes on the right. Well, I don't see any there, but they're there. That's where they go. Look at all this suede. This is suede, not Alcantara. Not feeding you garbage. This is suede. Real stuff, look at that. Look at that, suede it around the side of the mirror there. The wood is great. Let's open this up. Oh, that's how you open the boot. The boot is very odd in this car. Let's see if anybody smoked. No, nope, but the radio code is not that, so. I love how the radio is called Aston Martin Traffic Pro. How very early 2000s. It run, this, this thing steers and runs really well. The gauges are great. Oil pressure is fantastic. Showing 13,799 miles. How's your seat? Comfortable? Yeah. It's tiny. Yeah, you've, <laughs> it's made for you. The seat's pretty comfortable for me, too. Now, we're going to definitely go the speed limit here in Mexico. I don't want to ride it too hard here. Oh, she's got legs. I'm, I'm granny shifting. This is a nice, whew. I think this thing uh, could benefit from a nice muffler delete, perhaps. When you look in the rear view mirrors, you can just see the nice haunches of the rear end, how everything comes over, those big fenders. They're just so elegant. They're so big, but they're very elegant. This is a highly underrated car. I think it's probably a little underrated because you rarely ever see them, especially in the coupe version. You see more AR1s, the American open roadster, with no top, which is still a beautiful design, but you're not driving that around in Florida. A man in Florida here. Looks like he painted that with a rattle can. Interesting. He's having a good time. He is, you're right. He's gonna go boating. Look at us, we're stuck at work today. Work is terrible. These work? Oh, that works. That works. What do you do? That's the, yeah. Do I got a mirror? Nope. Oh. Nobody cares about the driver. What if I needed to do my makeup? James Bond didn't even have a car that's elegant. I'm gonna get ridiculed in the comments for that, yes. The DB5 may or may not be more elegant, but probably not. It definitely wasn't as fast as this. Zero to 60, and I believe it said 3.9 seconds. Oh, wow. That's how you know we're in Florida. Yeah, I know. We're getting passed by a Malibu and a, what is that? A Kia Soul or a Kia, not Soul, whatever, Kia Optima. Uh, oh, and then just one that pulls out of nowhere. Yeah, that's Florida for you. Look at this wood shift knob. Again, more Allen keys held down here. It's a real classy broad. And this Aston Martin clock. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> in the early 2000s, we're going to have to let some things go here. Steering wheel is great. Feels nice, nice grip, thick boy. And if you didn't already know it was an Aston Martin, it says it there, it says it there, it says it there, it says it twice there. That's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight things that indicate that this is an Aston Martin. You gotta know. You gotta know. Oh, it drives phenomenally. Feels like the day it came out. We have the early 2000s sticky buttons. It's not a Ferrari. That doesn't mean every button is toast, just the radio knobs. Yeah, if you buy these Ferraris from like, say mid 90s, definitely the late 90s, early 2000s, even up to like 2012 or 13, maybe even today. I have not experienced too many used newer Ferraris, but they all have these sticky buttons everywhere and it's annoying. So when you drive, you just ruin your interior because it's black crap all over it. But this doesn't really have that except for these two knobs here, which I'm sure I can fix. We're pulling back in. We have a car show on the third Saturday of every month. It's a little early, but some cars are out here. Got a Ford Rod. We got a yellow bird, little baby bird there. Was that a 55 or 6? 55. Corvette. We got the Bearded Wonders Volare and Volkswagen bus. And look at that Plymouth.
I'm so excited about this Aston Martin DB7 Zagato Coupe. I'm very thankful we have it here. It will be on display at our dealership, Vintage Motors of Sarasota, 7519 Pennsylvania Avenue, Unit 101 here in sunny Sarasota, Florida, right behind the Sarasota Airport. Please come by, look at it. Fantastic car, definitely the only one around here, period. Probably one of the only ones on the East Coast, but I could be wrong. If you know of another one, please comment down below. Thank you again for watching. I'm Vintage Blake. Please like, subscribe, comment, comment if I'm doing bad, comment if I'm doing good, and comment down below if you even like Aston Martins or if you like this Aston Martin. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.